chemistry has a lot of confusing terms. We have atomic number, mass number, atomic mass, atomic weight, among others. Atomic mass and atomic weight basically are the same. Let's hope physics will forgive us for equating mass and weight. Using the term atomic mass actually is more accurate. When they say carbon-12, they pertain to the specific isotope of carbon with 6 protons and 6 neutrons. The smaller number when you see symbols of elements written is the atomic number. Just like our carbon here, same with boron with an atomic number of 5. The atomic number is the same number of protons inside the atom. Carbon has 6 protons, so the atomic number of carbon is 6. Boron has 5 protons, so its atomic number is 5 as well. So, the periodic table of elements immediately will show you the number of protons of each atom as indicated by the atomic numbers. Now let's concentrate with mass number and atomic mass. The mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons in an atom's nucleus. Let's go back with our carbon-12. The mass number is usually written above, but some write it below, but in any case, the bigger number is always the mass number. Carbon-12 has 6 protons and it has 6 neutrons. That's why the mass number is 12. Aside from carbon-12, we also have other isotopes of carbon. We have carbon-13 with 6 protons and 7 neutrons. We also have carbon-14 with 6 protons and 8 neutrons. Atomic mass, on the other hand, is the weighted average of all the isotopes of an element, just like carbon. This is the atomic mass of carbon. So you might say computing for the atomic mass is easy by just adding 12 plus 13 plus 14 divided by 3. Unfortunately, that is wrong because these isotopes have different abundance. What do I mean? You see, these are the naturally occurring isotopes of carbon in the world. Carbon-12 is 98.9% .9 of all the types of isotopes of carbon if we gather all the carbons that we have in the world. Carbon-13 is around 1.1% and carbon-14 is very rare, about less than 0.0001% of all the carbons. So if we will get the weighted average, we have to consider all of this. We multiply the mass number and the percentage of the abundance. Make sure to transform the percentage to its decimal form and you can do that by dividing the percentage by 100. After which, we will just add all of them together giving us the atomic mass of the element. Same idea with other elements like boron. Boron has two naturally occurring isotopes, boron-10 and boron-11. Boron-10 is 20% of all the borons in the world and boron-11 is 80%. So, computing for the atomic mass, we have 10 times 20% or 0.2 plus 11 times 80% or 0.8. The atomic mass of boron is 10.8. We can use atomic mass unit or AMU as the unit for mass number and atomic mass. Now check the description below to learn more on how to compute for the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons of an atom. Keep solving and I'll see you again next time!